from Saturday. New Yorkers will be able to start going to the polls early to vote for the November election. Here in Buffalo, we have one of the most eventful mayor's races in quite a long time. Do we ever? It started with a surprise India Walton victory on primary night, followed by Mayor Byron Brown's announcement of a write-in campaign and a court challenge to get back on the ballot that eventually failed. So we have a write-in race like we've never seen before. Our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post just published an in-depth look at what it takes to launch a successful write-in campaign. And IP's editor and executive director Jim Heaney joins us right now to discuss. Grim, Jim, great to see you. Nice to see you. So Jim, first of all, write-in campaigns aren't something that we usually think of as being successful, but it must have worked at some point. So what's the history there and what are the keys to, to that success? Well, m most write-in campaigns fail miserably. Um, where they have succeeded, and there are some notable exceptions, um, uh, you've seen uh, the, the the current senator in Alaska, U.S. Senator Lisa Murkowski, won, uh, is a write-in candidate uh, after she was uh, after she lost her Republican primary to a Tea Party candidate, and uh, down the road in, um, in in Detroit, Mike Duggan got elected in 2013. Is a write-in campaign. Um, the secrets uh, we've looked at three or four successful can high-profile campaigns. What we found was there are four factors that writing candidates have exploited successfully. They got to be well known. They got to raise a lot of money for their campaign efforts. Um, they need a concerted voter education uh, programs that connect with voters, and they need to get their base out to the polls. And uh, in the case of Murkowski and Duggan, those candidates were able to do that. All right, Jim. So you just mentioned those four factors. Let's do kind of like a, a report card on the four of those. Um, I know how you're going to grade the first one because Mayor Byron Brown is very well known here in the city of Buffalo. He's been mayor for as long as I've lived here and as long as some people can remember. Um, but as you go down that list, what of, among those factors is working in Mayor Brown's favor and what works against him? Well, he's he clearly his name recognition and he's going to raise well over a million dollars. So he's got money going for him. That should enable him to do a, a strong uh, voter education. Matter of fact, when I was home this morning, uh, someone on the mayor's team knocked on my door and handed me a card uh, uh, on how to do a write in vote for the mayor. So they're out there uh, doing that. And, uh, and then he's got to get people to the polls. Um, I think his money, you know, is going to allow him to do some of those things. He's got some things working against him, however, that, that perhaps Murkowski and, and Duggan didn't have. He's, um, you know, a lot of people feel he's, he's been in office long enough. So there's voter fatigue. Um, he's also got an India Walton, a candidate who has had some missteps along the way, but is running a very uh, strong, uh, aggressive issue oriented campaign. So he's got a formidable candidate who um, has the Working Families Party behind her and they bring a lot of organizational strength as well. So he's got some pluses, but he's he's got some, uh, I think the voter fatigue is a, is a big factor working against them. And Jim, talking more about that voter education, you talked about getting that card and we know there's actually a Brown campaign workshop going on as we speak where his wife is actually teaching voters how to write in his name. And it may seem like a very basic kind of thing, but it sounds like that's the kind of thing that you have to do. Oh, absolutely. Um, and uh, it, it's not as hard to do a write in vote as it was back when, when they had the voting machines where it, it was very, very difficult. It's a lot easier now, but it's still, it still isn't necessarily easy. You gotta, you have to find the right place on the ballot and you need to write down something that's legible and shows a clear intent to vote for the mayor. Um, you know, it's one thing to say, I'm gonna vote for Byron Brown. It's another thing to actually, one, show up to vote and two, to properly cast the right in ballot. So he's he's got some challenges. He's got some challenges. Yeah, it's a race we're going to be following very closely. Expect to see both of those candidates um, all over TV between now and Election Day. Um, we know that they've raised a decent amount of money each, and they're going to be spending it. Uh, there's a lot more to this as well. You can read the full article by Justin Sondell at investigativepost.org. Jim Heaney edited that article. He's executive director at Investigative Post. 
Jim, thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right, that's going to do it for today's town hall, but we will be back here tomorrow at 530. Yeah, if you have a question or a comment, here's the number 716-849-2220. We'd love to hear from you.